Hey everyone, just a quick December update. Uh, things I've been working on when I've had a chance. Uh, been trying to help everybody out that's had questions, and that keeps me pretty tight up too. But while well, there's real life, and I'm certainly not making enough money at this to quit my day job, so. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to start a new GDI tutorial. I know a lot of you are going to be like, why GDI? Uh, get with the XNA program, but well, um, a lot of people are still using the GDI to uh, create games and stuff. So um, even so, uh, this this really does apply to both the the GDI side and the XNA because the things that I'm trying to help out with here are basically frequently asked questions regarding how to teleport, um, how to keep your guy from or you know keep from going out of the array bounds and things like that when your guy hits the edge of the map. So those are the things I'm tackling. Another thing that I wanted to add in this, and I, I will eventually make this source code available to everybody uh, just so you can tinker with it. I've added my resolution class to adjust the monitor resolution. Um, I think that this could actually dramatically improve uh, GDI performance on some machines just because there's less uh, screen surface to print. Um, another thing I'm trying to do here is keep the code as tidy as possible. I'm classing pretty much everything. Uh, really had fun playing with that, you know, classing that your character is a separate class, the sound is a separate class, and input and everything else. So, um, What I have so far is, is really basic. I haven't um, completed this project, and I wouldn't say I'm really nearing completion at this point, but who knows, just depends on how much time I get to work on it. Essentially what I have here is just, you know, pretty much everything that we've learned throughout my tutorials. Um, one thing that has kind of really surprised me is you see my TPS here and it's at, you know, 71, kind of that average. It's actually been up around 82. It's just a little slower right now because I'm running Cam Studio. But... Uh, I've been surprised. I, I don't know if this is a because of the classing. This isn't a really powerful laptop that I'm running on here. So to see this high TPS using GDI is kind of intriguing. Anyway, some of the things I wanted to tackle in this, like I said, uh, teleporting. Uh, I've created a couple little teleporters here to take me to different coordinates on the screen. Um, this one takes me to the door, which brings me to another thing that people have been asking about. How do I open and open doors and things like that? So um, essentially, you know, walking onto this door opens it up. Sorry, I have my uh, character coordinates here as well. Also, when I walk to the edge of the map, I have it stopping here so I don't go out of the array bounds. That's another error that people have been getting. They try to walk too far, and what happens is this top left tile is zero, 0. So when you take the next step over, it crashes your program because it tries to draw a negative map coordinate. And, of course, our, our map variable is set to be 0 to 100. Uh, it's up here somewhere. Oh, I'm sorry, I put that in a class. <laughs> uh, let's see. So essentially, I'm loading it here. Um, this guy here is the problem. And it's just a matter of, you know, usually I do map 100, 100 for my examples. Um, in this case, I'm doing the same thing. I've just got it kind of spread out a little differently. Anyway, that's why you get those errors going out of array bounds. So what I've done is just limited my character, um, his movement, so he can't step out of bounds. I could go all the way down to 100, and it's going to be essentially my character's coordinates plus the 
remaining screen coordinates. Um, see, I can't walk past 94 on this one. It'll keep me from going over 100 in my array. Uh, so some things I still need to do is, you know, smooth up his movement. Right now he's just moving one block at a time. Um, I know that uh, another thing people have been wanting to know how to do is how to load maps on the fly. Uh, so, like, say I stepped on this doorway, it should take me inside the building, which would essentially be a, another map. Uh, I haven't quite got around to that yet, but I will be covering that as well. So, hopefully I'll be able to answer most all of the questions that I've had um, on my GDI tutorials. And again, keep in mind that uh, all this stuff is applicable to uh, XNA as well. So, anyway, uh, one other thing I've been working on is, uh, and this is kind of a side project, and <laughs> there's the class project too from uh, my November update, and I forgot about that. Got to pick back up on that. Sorry, it's all so time-consuming. Um, dragging, dropping, resizing items. This is a side project somebody else had asked about, but uh, you know it could be useful in a GDI game. Essentially, what I've done is created a little um, form here, and I can create a rectangle or a circle and you create it and it follows your mouse and then you drop it on the form with a single click. I can resize it by clicking the little resizer. I can pick it back up, select it, um, drop it, deselect it by clicking on the form. And just so you know, uh, I have made this source code available already out on my website. So I will post the link to that uh, it's just called GDI Resize, as you can see. Um, some things that have not been, you know, it, it's still very basic. It's not very tidy yet. Um, everything is single click in this. And also, I have not added Z indexes to separate layers. So if I add, you know, take this over here, and, you know, of course I picked it up, that should be the top layer now. And now you'll see that both layers are selected. So if I grab that, it grabs them both because they're overlapping. Um, it's fun to play with. It won't be difficult to fix those things, but it, you know, it might give you some practice if you want to go in there and fix it yourself and you know, just tinker with it. So you can do what you want with that. Have fun with it. Add your own fixes, whatever. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it for now. If I haven't got to some of your questions, uh, I'm sorry. It's it, it is tough keeping up with everybody. Um, I do my best, and I will try to keep on top of those as well as find time to continue with these projects. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I appreciate uh, all the really awesome comments and. Uh, suggestions that I've been getting and I do love seeing your projects as they come to life so continue to share those as well. Uh, I will catch you guys later and take care.